My name is Rhapsody. Welcome back to Update Logo Text. It's time to go in and play Marissa. Uh, all right. I'm actually going to pop that up to the highest ascension that I currently have available for her. <clears throat> I believe I completed ascension two accidentally at one point. Uh, so let's go A3. Um, <laughs> random common relic. Thanks. Head ghost. As it goes cards in your hand every turn, your max hand size is increased by one. Yeah, okay. Ooh, four elites. I don't know if I'm down for that. That's a lot of elites, yo. Okay, they need two defenses the next hand. Shot. Um. Get him. Okay, we'll ghost fetch. And then murder. Ghost fetch is probably really good for us. All right, double spark. Should I take that and then try and draft into the spark build? Yeah. Ghost fetcher. Uh, an attack. Right, I ghost fetch the attack so that I would be able to double defend this turn. Almost certainly had lethal there, by the way. Oops. Got lethal now, though. Charge up spray, unstable bomb, and magic absorber. Magic absorber is just a nice defensive card that I can throw into pretty much any build, I feel. Wee bit short of the amount of defense that I wanted that turn, but hey, it happens. Should be able to kill out right here. Yeah. Gas Giant Luminous Strike versus Witch's Ley Line. Oh, which Ley Line though? It's part of our quests. Pulse Magic, yeah, Magic Chance. Yeah, which ley line? Pen nib? Illusion star. Gas giant and which ley line? I'm looking at and going, okay, how do I get the burns? How do I use the burns? I'm going to take one. Mostly for the money that it's about to give me so that I can duck off to the shop on the left-hand side. And then we can see how that goes for us. Let's remove a debuff. Defend once more. And heck, why not a game? Double damage on that is 18. So if I actually 623B the front line, then I can double defend and then kill the front line. Too much of the fight left to Witch's Ley Line there, though. Uh, really good at keeping us weak here. Not particularly appreciative of that, though. All right. Yeah, this is going to be lethal. Robbery, machine gun spark, and Milky Way. See, the thing is, machine gun spark is another spark card. And one of the ways that I think we can benefit from sparks is by getting singularity, which will upgrade the damage of other cards. Satellite illusion. No, 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 no. Meteonic shower, exhaust. No. Exhaust up to X plus one cards. Deal three damage two times for each card you exhausted, or three times for each burn exhausted. It's the upgrade. Four times, three times. Uh, 
All right, I'm gonna try and turn this into a exhaust burn build. Time travel potion, yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna try and turn this into an exhaust burn build. I don't know if it's gonna work. I think machine gun spark and doll spark, I'm just gonna have to cop those on the chin. Is like, okay, my bad. Uh, we're looking for gas giant now, I guess. See, I can't add burns to my hand or to my discard pile right now without immediately being able to burn them. That should have just been double defender. Without being able to immediately burn them, because if I can't burn them, then I am going to have to start drawing them when the enemy has got a bunch of days in my deck. So I'll have hands that are just days, days, burn, days, days. And that's just tragic. Glad I ordered that one correctly so that I have more charge up at the end. And uh, not that it matters though. Potion belt as well as the echo draft. Warming up. That gives us a 623B, a spark and a witch's ley line. Helps thicken up the deck. Thickening up the deck is going to dilute those burns. I'm going to take a warming up here. And I think it's probably the priority upgrade because... It gives us all of those cards and then upgrades them now. So this can exhaust four cards. One, two, three, four. That's a fair amount of damage. Right, what are we going to pull? It has to be a defend, right? Okay. Warming up for two damage. This is what I don't understand. Why does warming up deal any damage? See what I mean when I say I don't understand? Use me spatulas. Oh, gosh, though. Ooh, unceasing to... No, why did I put birds in this deck? This is probably the character best equipped to take advantage of unceasing top, which is like a bunch of zero-cost cycles. Ugh. Yuck. Sure. All right. Ocul uh, occultation. Discard your draw pile and gain one block for each card discarded. Upgrades to cost one. We are going to be thickening up our draw pile. And in the second play, our draw pile is actually quite big. Yep. Uh... All of our spark... Oh, no. Machine gun spark. We have to take the boot. Sorry. <laughs> 30 damage. Cash 30 damage right there. Do people still say cash? <laughs> Did people ever say cash? <laughs> Please. I need to know. Oh, that counts as an attack. Oh, it does. Of course. It's Meteoric Shot. Oh, okay. I see it. <laughs> uh, 
That's a lot of value from one card. Baseball, upon pick up a random card in uh, your deck becomes free, as well as another Meteonic Shower, as well as shuffle your entire hand into your draw pile, then add that many random cards to your hand. Add that many random upgraded cards to your hands. Oh. <laughs> Are we just going to go hard on the... Nah, I'm going to go with the Meteonic. Ah, damn it. Had to be a spark. Machine Gun Spark now does 10 more damage. It's the boot. It's going to be really good with that. Well, that kind of justifies taking it now. In my opinion, at least. Uh, I lost the other Meteor Chow there. Right, got him down. Upgrade, energy recoil, and mana convection. Take mana convection, another way to exhaust our cards. Transform a simple strike. Get oh, yes. ultimate shortwave. Gain energy and uh, one energy, one charge up. Increase the charge up and energy gain of this card by one for this battle every time you play it. Uh, the upgrade just increases the charge up gain by one as well. All right. Let's go pop a ley line right there. I mean, if that's how much damage we can do, that's how much damage we're gonna do. Okay. Then I'm gonna maybe not shower the entire hand. Just blow the enemy up. Uh, bumping up, she's an exhaust card. When if you play that card, it no longer exhausts as well as a lifeblood potion. Hmm. Meteoric shower doesn't exhaust. This is, this is interesting. We have too many different things going on at the moment, but good lord if, it's, if it isn't interesting. All right, shuffle those back in. Mana Convec, Ugh, not the cards we wanted to get there. Alright, I'm gonna hit both of my defensive potions there. Which is Leyline. Finally, going to shower for those two. <clears throat> defend, defend, defend. Machine gun spark for approximately a billion damage. Is ley line. Getting this enemy as close as I possibly can to on the ground and then blow him up. Flawless the boss. Let's request for our quest log as well as supernova no longer take damage from burn. Gain one strength for each burn. Exhausted. Exhaust when your, uh, your hand when your turn ends. <laughs> we did it. We did it. We found it. We found the build. 
Uh, gain energy at the start of your turn. You can long no longer rest at rest sites. That's really dangerous. I want the extra energy a lot. But drawing extra cards per turn is also really powerful. Supernova, Occultation, Warming Up, all of these would be insanely powerful. But Machine Gun Spark, which is Leyline, 63B. The Spark, which is Leyline and 63B from Warming Up would be good when I generate them. But then if I ever shuffle back into them, bad. I think I just need to take the extra energy here. Okay. <gasps> you can have a charged up version of the Nightmare Elite? Okay. Alright. Let's see that. Super over that handout. Excellent. Just came to strength cash. And then Meteonic Shower for a lot of damage. Non-directional laser is actually a good way for me to start delivering damage after I get a bunch of strength from Supernova. I'll take it. Excuse me a little bit of AoE that the deck doesn't currently have. Okay, I'm starting to see the value of all of this. Uh, not that though. I do want to go to the shop. close to what I wanted to get going there. Okay. That's not fair. Of course that was going to go down like that. Oh, so Illusion Star. This is also... It's also going to give me money. Add two random cards to your hand. Put a card from your hand on top of your draw pile. I'm going to take it primarily for the money that I get. Ancient tea set's quite good. Um, light bulb. If you have any unspent energy at the end of your turn, draw that many cards at the start of your next turn, as well as the ancient tea set. Whenever you enter a rest site, start the next combat with two extra energy. It means that our first two turns in boss combat is going to be really good. Sorry, in uh, yeah, in boss combats because we always have a rest before those. What's going on top of the deck? Remove a random buff from an enemy as long as it's not a boss enemy. That's pretty good. Discard my entire deck casually. All right. That's super cool. Uh, machine gun spark. Double spark. Ooh, another occultation. I do want to make the deck quite big, so... Sure. Alright. Yeah. 
upgrading supernova so that I get extra strength off of statuses and curses as well, I think is going to be a particularly clever move for us. This helps to serve my point, I feel. Okay, now I'm going to use Mana Convection. And that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I wasn't thinking about the energy expenditure there. That's my bad. I believe that if I had charged up, it would have been 2 by 8 and then 2 by 8 would have been increased to 5 by 8 So, I think the ordering there was still correct. Pretty sure that's lethal. Mm -hmm. Top hat. If drawing, uh, if your hand is full when drawing a card, draw an extra card next turn instead. Cool. Exhaust half of the cards in your discard and draw pile. Gain energy and draw a card for each five cards exhausted. Yep. All right. We're going crazy. Especially because we can't heal here anymore. Each four cards. Yeah. I played all of those out so that I could get extra charge up. That one took my draw pile. That. Supernova. Ghost fetch to get something out. Burnt the entire hand. Waiting for something else to double the damage of. Ideally not this hand. Goodbye, Mimic. Hello, question card. Those, though. I feel like this, this might be short-lived. Like, it's super powerful when it's powerful, but it's really undirected just because I don't know how to do this build. How do I build this? I'm just going to quickly big crunch it. Yeah, that's real good. Lunar Strike Star Barrage? No. All right, I'm gonna have to start pretty. Uh, decay curse, lame. I'm gonna have to start using a lot of these powers just to keep us alive. Put a guiding star into your draw pile, gain energy at the start of your turn while it's in your draw pile. Singularity is pretty good. Uh, event horizon, one time each turn when you activate an amplify, you can put an attack from your discard pile into your hand. Okay, looks like a singularity there. And a second singularity, sure. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, so increasing the damage of Alice's gift and then you amplify. Alice's gift is a ridiculous card. I I haven't seen it before. I, I, or rather, I, I didn't recognize it before, but it, yeah, it definitely is. Yeah, it's pretty wild, in fact. And a convection. We can drop that. That's a lot of damage. <sighs> and now we have a ridiculously large exhaust pile as well. Lucky Rock, every time you play an attack card, you have a 5% chance of getting critical, as well as a black potion, add one or three black cards to our hands, and another ultimate shortwave. No other character has a one damage attack, so... Wow. They don't even count as... I mean, it makes sense. Cancel if dealt attack damage three times in one turn and 50% is usually rounded down, but... Wow. Oh, that sucks. For us. Also, zero, by the way. Point to note. Zero is not amplified by the boot. Whenever you deal four or less unblocked attack damage. We dealt no attack damage. I checked, by the way. I thought that was a bug, and I I reported it, and uh, was quite swiftly smacked down by the community <laughs> over in the Slay the Spire uh, Discord. I have to imagine it had been reported to them many a time before. We're going to need some things that capitalize on how many things we have in our exhaust pile. That was really daft on my part. I just introduced a bunch of extra damage to my hand that I didn't need to be taking. We don't really use any of these in a significant fashion. Uh, I would love to go for another Elite and then a Bonfire. <sighs> Menacing. Next attack you play stuns any enemy it hits for one turn. Upgrades. Oh, they both exhaust now. Okay. Back when I saw the iterations of these, they did not exhaust. Next two attack you play. Uh, next two attacks you play stun any enemy. They hit for one turn. Okay. Let's. Stun the enemy here. Play no extra. Draw two cards and then start destroying cards, sure. Get energy back as well, then I'm gonna Witch's Ley Line and... Hell of a lot of damage there. Ooh, that's a really good warming up right there. Got him. Duck day. Pump pick up. Uh, pump pick up. Choose two cards and combine them. 
I kind of want to combine uh, super sides and super sides. Just because when I draw that single card now, I'm going to get two extra energy. And then when I exhaust it, I deal 32 damage to a target. Or I could join both of my ultimate shortwaves together. That could be pretty ridiculous. Or I could join both of my Meteonic Showers together. How would that even work? I need to know. <gasps> Alright. None of that for me, though. I'm gonna take the rest. Ooh, hoo -hoo! he hits ultimate shortwave. Nice. Sprinkle Saw Seal is actually going to be really helpful for us. I have Critical on my next attack. I'm considering just holding until I have a better attack. So I'm going to draw five cards next turn, thanks to Light Bulb. There's my duct taped Meteonic Shower, Meteonic Shower. I think it's possible that if I just play this and burn my entire hand, I can't. Oh, of course I can't. I don't have the energy for it. I think it's possible this might just straight up murder. Oh, it plays them two times in a row and the second one gets played for one. Damn, that's definitely not the interaction we were looking for. It's really frustrating. It also didn't consume critical. Interestingly enough. Big crunch. I I fundamentally do not entirely understand a lot of these cards that I am currently playing. I am going to make that extremely clear. Because there's a reason I'm playing awfully. I am really not used to these cards. Also forgot that I had the unceasing top that time. Whoops. Shards up spray for the draw. Knew I should have chosen my other options. Stick together. <sighs> Double super besides could have been cool as hell. All right. I don't. I don't think. I don't think this build can go and kill the heart. Blazing Star deals seven additional damage for every burn in your hands. Yeah. Calling Bell with Supernova in the deck, we might just be able to burn them out. Never getting another Snacko. Never getting another Fungi Beast. Sure, let's say Calling Bell. We get Sloth, autoplay, lose all max energy, gain one max energy at the end of each turn. Autoplay on Envy, a random card in your hand becomes unplayable for the turn, and autoplay on Lust, uh, choose a random enemy. This turn, each time you attack it, lose three HP. We also get Bloodval, Gambling Chip, Bloodval being two HP at the start of each combat, Gambling Chip at the start of each combat, discard as many cards as you like in the draw that many, and then Bottled Geyser. Uh, I would put the supernova on it, but actually it's got to be something like ultimate or warming up. Yeah. I'll take warming up. Because the first shuffle of your deck does not count towards Bottled Geyser. So when you shuffle your deck, you're not putting supernova on top. 
And because I would always play Supernova in my first deck shuffle, it's just not going to affect me. This yeah, Supernova. A lot earlier than I actually wanted it, but that's okay. Actually, way better off just using that. Thanks for the defense. Well, at least we still have some energy to play with. Another occultation? No. Mm -mm. Deck's not actually thick enough to use it. I'm gonna take another Witch's Leyline, in fact. This is all a burn deck now. I'm pivoting back in the other direction. Unfortunately, because Lost is autoplay, Supernova can't burn it. Hmm. So I, took to, I still took damage to Decay, even though it was being burnt. Whereas the burns don't deal damage to me when Supernova burns them. Action. Speed crunch. Nice. Ooh, machine gun spark. Very good. That's uh that light bulb is actually doing a ridiculous amount of the work for this deck. We would be completely out of our depth without it. Not there. Just deal some cash damage. All right. Blaze away. Add two copies of the last attack you played this hand to your turn. They cost zero this turn. We have a couple of attacks that we would want that with. I really want that early shot. Can't take the HP damage there, though. Sneak, forethought, transmutation, and madness. Probably transmutation. No. Spends all my energy. Madness? I'm just building thick right now. If this wins, it is in spite of everything that we did, not because of. Hell, Ghost Swipe just became unplayable. That's 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 fine with me. That's probably the best case scenario there for us. Echo warming up. Absolutely fill my hand with burns and then blazing stuff again. For uh, none of those right there. We do shuffle the deck surprisingly often. I could take a Sundial. Every three times you shuffle your deck, gain two energy, as well as... I need to remove Envy because it's a problem. I need to remove all of the autoplay ones, actually, because they're all going to be really, really problematic for us. Yeah, I'm just gonna let all of those burn. Raw pile looks thin, bump it up to 30. Ooh, thank you. I mean, I am kind of going that direction with this deck, so I don't really appreciate it. It's very thoughtful of you. Blazing Star, Blaze Away, Blazing Star, Blazing Star. I don't really get a ridiculous amount of defense out of that. But I do get a ridiculous amount of... That's real cool. That counts for something.
Yeah, sloth is going to be a problem. We get one energy this turn. Okay, that's a lot more than one energy. <laughs> Normal enemy encounters are no longer encountered. Question mark rooms, thanks to the juicer bracelet. Upgraded witch's ley line. Lean in. Good. Blazing Star is closer to being our finisher. If we had the ability to retain cards, like specific cards, I guess, we would actually be in a winning position right now. Full spark, and then burn all of those burns. Yeah, this is going to be a problem. I'm not going to be able to defend with this hand. Ugh, I could scarcely have done less that turn. I didn't even supernova beforehand, so this is actually going to be a lot of an HP loss for me. Mm-hmm. Hitting that enemy is now going to harm me. Let's not do that. We've got way too many elements in this deck. That's... The primary problem that we have is just way too many elements. Oh! I was figuring I was going to play Occultation at the very end there, uh, but I wasn't watching how much damage I was dealing to the enemy. So they immediately started to take their turn and overtook me. I don't think there was any chance we were going to win that fight. Uh, win that, sorry, uh, run just because we kept running out of HP and Donu and Decca scale really quickly. Supernova would be nice, help us burn out a lot of things, get a lot of strength while doing it, but there was just no defense in this deck because there's a lot of different elements. Like I was trying to go thick, sorry, I was trying to go for sparks, then I was trying to go for burns, then I was trying to go thick, then I went back to burns, then I went back to thick. A lot of it is about me trying to explore these different play styles. And I'm going to make mistakes whilst doing so. As well demonstrated. For the moment, though, my name is Ben Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Slay the Spire modded. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves. There's a playlist in the description down below with all my content on this game, past, present, and future, as well as a link to each and every one of the mods that is featured in each and every episode of this series. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves, and hopefully we'll see you next time.